left Ratham No and travelled further west to the town of Harnia, which has a stunning 14th century Venetian harbour, narrow streets and waterfront restaurants. I'm meeting up with a local, Manolis, who's going to show me the best places to try traditional Cretan cuisine. Bugatta, exactly. Which is a traditional breakfast exactly. type food here in Crete. Traditional okay. crispy handmade pastry cooked in the oven. It comes directly fresh from the oven. Wow. It's filo dough and mizithra cheese inside. Mizithra is the most popular, the most known, the most tasty white cheese you have here. It can get combined with salty and sweet uh, versions and combinations. This is its sweet combination and it's powdered with sugar and cinnamon. That's our Bugatta. Bugatta. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. What do you think? So good. Mm. It's kind of like sweet and salty. Mm. It's got the sweet of the cinnamon, but the cheese is a bit salty, isn't it? Yes. Okay, I could definitely eat this for breakfast every day. You do, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I visit another country, I always like to go to the, to the market, and yeah. especially to the market that has everything that is fresh, like fruits, vegetables, greens, yeah. everything like that, because this is a way to get closer to the place I'm visiting, to what they produce there, what their lives are connected with there. So here in Crete, we have a variety of different fruits and vegetables, depending on the different times of the year. It's very seasonal. Fruits, yes. For example, the figs that you just saw, it's a very summer fruit. We love it. It's very tasty. It's so sweet here. Yeah. It's very so sweet. sweet. You can uh, find it a lot in the countryside. And it's actually the only fruit that you can just uh, get to the tree with a bag and fill it up with figs mm. and not be regarded to be a thief. There is something that you would ask me to name like uh, the number one yeah. <laughs> product we produce. It's actually olive oil. So. Olives is also a very local delicacy. This is a local one called Tsunati. This one, yes. yes. One very, very popular is this, that is from uh, Kalamata, so it's called Kalamon olive oil. And what's it called again? Tsunati variety from the, yeah, from the west part of Kanya Prefecture, the area of Selino. We also call it Selinotiki because it's from that area. Salty. Yes, it is. Mm. It's my favorite. Pickled in salt. It's huh? very delicious. Others are pickled in vinegar and also in olive oil. Mm. Now we're heading to the west wing of the market. And I think you can already smell what it is sold here exactly. Fish? Mm -hmm. Here is the owner, Mr. Oh, Domingos. The owner. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You're looking so cool. I like your positivity, your friendly. Uh, England. Splendid. Okay. Very fresh fish from Bielefeld, sir. You've been here for how many years? Half a century. Half a century, 50 years. 55. Do you feel like before there was more fish in the ocean, then you got more fish in your mouth? Everything changed, everything has changed in this world. Everything changed? Yes, but the, the most, the most dangerous to the fish is not the overfishing, it's a problem. Everywhere in the world, the biggest problem is the cheese is not so clean. You want meat? No. <laughs> yes, it's, it's fish and egg, not cocos and egg. Cocos and egg is not oh the best Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a local experience. What is this fish? The hundreds lives also in England. It's uh, like speeding Gonzales. It's oh, so speedy. Difficult to catch. Wow. It's so heavy. It's very good to build a muscle, huh? You're going to leave me with a fish. Like London, you know? Maybe you don't find it. So what we have here is our calichunya. 
Calzunia is our local pastries. They come in different combinations. For example, this one has some spinach also, along with mizithra, some local herbs. This only has mizithra cheese. Well, this one is the sweet version of calzuni. We call it Lichnaraki. If you go pay a visit to any local housewife in a village, we will certainly have some of them kept in the refrigerator, put them into the oven, and serve you some. This is a savory pastry with spinach in it. Absolutely delicious. Time to taste another local delicacy, something that I regard to be the best cheese in Crete, in Greece, maybe in all the world. <laughs> it's called Graviera. It's our local yellow cheese. Normally, it's 70% of sheep milk and 30% of goat milk. It's uh, getting mature for like six to nine months. And yes, has a strong flavor. So good. So what do we have here? It's olive oil. Would you like to taste some? Yes, I would love to taste olive oil. Okay. So you all have the chance to taste uh, the two most uh, common local varieties, but this is a two nutty variety. This oil you can find only in the expensive restaurants. Okay. This will be a little bit heavy. <laughs> oh, it's no, warning it you. smells delicious. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's got a bit of pepperiness. Yes. Uh -huh. A bit of spiciness. And now I give you, oh, it's the very famous here, it's Agia Triada, it's one monastery. A lot of monasteries also have their own production. Agia Triada is one of the most popular monasteries that produce. It's quite different, yes. Oh. It doesn't have that pepperiness. Mm -hmm. This is extra virgin oil and it's nothing uh, chemical, you know? No, yeah. It's they quite leave, light olive oil. They leave the nature to do the job, you know? Mm. Here in the Venetian port, this is heavily influenced by the Venetian uh -huh. ruling here. It was constructed by the Venetians. So a lot of Venetian architecture. And then there's a part of the town which is more influenced by the Ottomans. Yes. Okay. All the city became part of the Ottoman Turks Empire later, uh, but there was a big part that was mainly developed during those times. But the square, the main square was, and a lot of buildings. But you gonna... can see a little bit of that Ottoman influence of there, course. right? With the mosque. And this also was the first mosque that was built in Crete, in all the island called Yali Jami or the Seaside Mosque. <laughs> This is what the locals we, we will call Splazia district or Splazia neighborhood. It has a main square that used to be the main square of the city during the Ottoman Turkish times. A lot of winding streets and most of this area was actually constructed and developed during the Ottoman Turkish period. And baskets, also very common. town might may be touristic, but it's also the place that most of locals would go out huh? yeah. in order to uh, have a meze, have a drink. This is a very typical example of local mezedes or local appetizers, the tapas you have here. These are like meatballs out of pork, zucchini balls, and something that is very special, uh, one of our local delicacies is rice that is wrapped around with either the leaf of uh, the vine, so this is called dolmas, or the zucchini flower, that we call it kolokithantos. And of course, raki, in its introductory level. So this is the typical liqueur uh, here in Crete, which is raki. So this is made with the skins of the grapes. Exactly, the skins and the seed of the grapes. And this then, is a honey yeah. flavored raki. So I'm doing just a kind of slow introduction to raki, because what's the alcohol percentage? So, like 40% 40%. Of but if you get it with honey, it feels much softer, okay. but warning, it has the same amount of alcohol yeah. inside. Huh? <laughs> You can still get very drunk off it. <laughs> yes. Yamas. Yamas. 
Mm. Nice, huh? As part of our tradition, we we'll always need MSA along with our drink. Otherwise, we are regarded to be an alcoholic person. Yes. <laughs> so this is zucchini. Zucchini flower, yeah. Mmm, mm. that's good. Oh my god, that's so good. That is delicious. on our journey. The sweet epilogue of uh, this tour. This is uh, Lucumadi. Exactly. Lucumades. Lucumades. It's our street food dessert. It's actually dough balls that are deep fried and have sugar syrup and powder with cinnamon and sesame seeds. We used to love it. As kids, we still love it. It's a little tough on the outside but very soft and full of syrup on the inside. Okay, let's try it. That's the way to have it. It's got like the syrupiness coming out. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's delicious. You can tell that children will love it, but adults as well. Sometimes it will also accompany some local spirit like raki that we had. So delicious. Yes. This is uh, the jewel of the town when it comes to views. So thank you very much, Manolo. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, I can come back to Harney and explore some more. Yeah, there is so much more to explore, huh? Yeah. <laughs>